Hello and welcome once again to the Den of Doom. Today we're going to do, if you do the whole session, two pyramid sets, which will take us 45 minutes. If you're feeling a little bit sore, a little bit tired, then only do one of the pyramids. They are increasing in duration at the same effort with recovery. Okay, so I've got my watch on do workout ready to go. So I'm going to press that and I'm going to press the timer in five, four, three, two, one. And off we go. So a nice warm up, five minute warm up initially, and then we're going to do another five minutes with some little efforts in there before we do the session. Okay, it is a threshold raising session, so it will lift to what's known as your functional training threshold. It will lift your power and it will make your body more efficient at working at a higher intensity. Now then, now then, now then. Hopefully you've got your towel and you've got yourself a drink and you're ready to work out with me this morning. Well, or afternoon or evening. So who have I got on board today? I've got Emma. Hi Emma. Good to have you on board. Make sure you do these. They really do help improve performance. Okay, I'm going to take the watch off and put it somewhere I can see it. Which is going to be here on my phone. Okay, the legs turning. So the warm-up is really important to do if you want to try and Remove any waste products or fatigue that you're carrying over from yesterday's session. Or maybe this is your second training session of the day. So get those re legs ready to do some work. Fantastic. I went out on the road yesterday. Different bike, different setup. And yeah, feeling a little bit more bruised underneath today. So I do feel your pain, Natalie. <laughs> and you, I told you yesterday I was going to. That's it. Keep those legs spinning nice and easy. So if we're working to a rate of perceived exertion, this warm-up should be about a three. Hello, it's bad. What have you got? The dog has just picked up a face mask, I think. As long as he doesn't start putting it on. Crazy. See, oh, it's off sniffing off something else now. So nice and easy. Get those legs spinning. I think it's a flamingo mud mask. Nice. feeling a bit peckish, so he's having a little reach around for his dog, who he's kept. That's it, keep those legs feeling nice and easy. And we've got Penny, great Penny, glad you could join me. Hopefully we're back on track, not too much going on. And Alex is giving you some reprieve. Absolutely brilliant, well done. And Freya, thought you'd be out today. The sun is shining. So a nice short session, Catherine. I know how you like anything that's less than an hour, you love those. Short and sharp. Money in the bank. Starting to feel a little bit easier for me, my little legs. So I put a little bit more resistance on. I did go for a run earlier. The sun was shining. Dogs need a walk. So I thought I'd put a 30 minute run in before jumping on the bike today. It'll be interesting to see how it pays off. Will I hit my targets with a little tired legs? Mind you, it was a bug. <laughs> Bud's pace and he doesn't really run too fast. He's a plodder.
So in 30 seconds time, we're going to increase the intensity and we're going to pedal those legs a little bit quicker. Okay, so we're just working on lifting the power of pedaling faster. Three, two, one, and let me go. 30 seconds, really fast, pushing out more power thanks to the speed of those legs. Good, well done, halfway through. Come on, last five. Myself warming up a bit now. Good. Well done. So there's only 30 seconds rest in between these. The 10 seconds left, and we do another. Three, two, one, and spin it up. Get those legs going as fast as you can for 30 seconds. Keep it going and relax. Awesome, well done. Nice and easy. Warming up nicely. Got a couple of layers on. It's a bit cold after running. Let's see if here we go. I'm looping out the blanket. <laughs> nice. Good. And one last time. Only three of these. Are you ready? Off we go. Spin it up. in between each one. So if only one pyramid is all you fancy today, that's absolutely fine. And that's what we're going to repeat. So you can do the first set with us, then do the cool, well, when we do the recovery, you can do your cool down. Keep those legs spinning. Absolutely brilliant. So it's going to be an RP of about seven to eight for each of the efforts and we're going to do them in one minute and 20 seconds time absolutely brilliant. well done well done come on well done penny not too hot yet we will be i'm sure right boys we've got mark and will on board good to have you with us mark and will Mark Davis as well, and Ma Martin, say Matthew, <laughs> Martin, well done Martin, good to have you on board. Thank you, if the weather stays this good, I'm going to rig up a camera on the bike so that I can do a, an interval session outside and you can see how that works. Because you can do intervals outside, 
However, they, <laughs> not as easy to do unless you have nice flat terrain. Okay, 20 seconds left before the first one minute effort. So I want your cadence ideally to be above 80 to 80, 85 to 95. Are you ready? A bit more gears. Off we go. One minute. So remember not to go off too hard because it is above threshold. But you need to be able to hold it for the length of time. Thirty seconds left. Good. Well done, last twenty. Last ten. One minute recovery. Nice and easy. Well done. Have a drink if you need one. Staying hydrated is essential to make sure you have an effective recovery. The cells function so much better when they're well hydrated and nourished, producing more energy for you. Minute is never very long, is it? So the next effort, unless you're working, is for two minutes, and that's coming up in 10 seconds time. Three, two, one, up we go. And off we go. Two minutes this time. So about seven to eight. We're hitting threshold. And by the end of the session, for the effort, you would have gone over it. That eight. Good. Well done, Kate. Power's looking good. Keep those legs turning. Good, coming up, one minute and 15 seconds left. Bon afternoon, well done. One minute left, halfway through this effort. Forty-five left. Come on, girls, boys, come on, we can do this. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds left. Hold on to it. Doing really well. 15 left. Three, two, one, and relax. One minute recovery. Warming up nicely. Oh, bit of puffing, bit of huffing. Keep those legs spinning. Helps with that recovery. Well done. Whew. 20 
20 seconds left. Good head going on, I think. Right, last 10. Okay, three, two, one. This is the tuffing. Three minutes now. Come on, we can do this. Come on, Freya, well done. <coughs> Brilliant. Come on, Barry, Catherine, Ben de Geddig. Here's a toughie. You can do it. First minute. First minute gone. Well done. Just two left. Breathing hard now. Definitely over the seven. Come on. Halfway through. Think about how you're pedaling. I'm hitting my eight. Got a minute and ten to go. One minute left. Not sure if yours are. 
hold on to it. One minute left. again. So a total of five minutes recovery, or well, for some people, cool down. <laughs> so we're going to repeat the same thing again. Short, sharp, fantastic blast. I'm hoping it's got the heart rate up, working those legs, encouraging your muscles to adapt. Nice. Well done. So we're going to try and hit the same power. Or for those who don't have power, the same gears you were in before at a similar cadence. So we've got four minutes to get back <laughs> our breath and replenish our energy stores within our muscles. Have a drink and hydrate. All looking good. Well done. Yeah. That's it. Well, the dog hasn't put the face mask on, so that's a relief. They just carried it over for some random reason. 
fancy doing as I need it. Put a little light out. And Baloo's fast asleep. Fast asleep, Baloo. Yeah, he didn't even twitch. That's it, nice and easy. Well done. <clears throat> so for these people on plan, it's a week later than when I did it, so I'm hoping for this time next week. Slash now is as good as it is out there at the moment. Good. Keep those legs spinning nice and easy. Move. Relax the acid away. And attempt to get virtually full recovery. And there's just one set of efforts to go. And we're done. Nice. So we should be back to an RP of three quite easily now. Keep those legs spinning. If you need to alleviate the pressure, obviously do so, but not for very long. Get back into it as soon as you can. Let the blood flow. <laughs> Well done. So we've got a minute of recovery left before the first one minute effort. about triathlons and is it safe to swim after a bike or a run? It is safe as long as you're not prone to cramping and you've got to bear in mind if you're tired then unfortunately your form won't be as good. But as needs must for a lot of people these days with cycling to our swim venues you're not allowed to drive most of them are open water, so be careful. Always swim with a buddy. Are you ready? We're up again now. Off we go. So one minute, here we go. Can't talk when I'm working hard. <laughs> Well, the minute one is nice. <laughs> 30 seconds left. Twenty left. Fifteen. Ten. water swimming, <clears throat> especially after exercise, make sure you're swimming with a buddy and somebody who knows <laughs> how to tow you if you need it. Not somebody who's going to panic and when you grab hold of them, sink with you. <clears throat> so just think about that. Always stay close to the shore. Always stay within your depth. <clears throat> Make sure you're safe. Fifteen left to our two minute effort. Ten. Looking forward to it. <laughs> Three, two, one, and off we go. Two minutes, nice and steady, come on.
Not an easy session. Come on, guys. One minute to go. Knees are burning, quads are hurting. Hold on to it. Next effort is three minutes. <clears throat> I'm going to try slightly lower cadence so you're a little bit too fast. Baby, there'll be less knee burn. Burn, baby, burn, baby. <laughs> Woo, come on. Not long now, 10 seconds left.
gosh. <laughs> Hard work. <sighs> Keep those legs turning. Oh. Hitting that power is a bit harder than it normally would be for me. <coughs> Thanks to my 30 minute ah, steady state to tempo run that I did earlier. But I'm holding the target. Working too hard just might mean a bit more rest tomorrow. Lower the pace. Okay, two minutes coming up. In three, two, one, two minutes. Off we go. Remember how hard you're working? Seven to eight, ideally not a nine. Because we will need more time to recover. But Tuesdays are my easy days where I just teach all day long. Come on, Natalie. Well done. Come on. Come on, Sarah. Nearly halfway through this effort. One minute left. Quarts are burning, knees are feeling it, you're doing a great job. this. Well done guys. We're nearly through it. Come on Sean. You've done an excellent job. Don't let this one get the better of you. Remember, we're all in pain. <laughs> we're all feeling it. You can do it. As long as we give that body a chance to adapt and recover. If too many of your sessions feel like this, <laughs> then you want to take a rest. Have a chat with me. I can adapt anything. Give you some ideas to take it a little easier. We have 10 seconds left for the last minute. Two, one, last minute, here we go. Don't be tempted to go too hard now if you've got loads left. Save it for tomorrow's session, whatever that may be. Forty-five. This is it. Coming to the end. Last thirty. Oh, I think it's 
minutes left, five minutes left. Uh, recovery and five minutes cool down. Well done. Have a good session in the bag and then a step foot closer to peak fitness. Total fitness, I should say. Brilliant. Just keep ticking off the sessions on the calendar. Turn them green. Feel that sense of satisfaction. Oh, satisfaction is what I need. Good. <clears throat> nice, easy spinning. And drop that one down. A little bit more gears in. And we're getting back to the three. Now that's just a three minute cool down. That takes us up to the 45 minutes. Not enough time to stretch on the bike. But you know what you've got to do, guys. Key muscles. Cross these pecs. Make sure they're stretched so the upper back muscles don't switch off. Hip flexors. If they're not stretched, you're going to end up with lower back issues. But last for lifetime. <laughs> okay. Make sure your hip flexors are done, your quads are done. And of course, those calves. Those are your essentials. Okay, if that's all you've got time for. But if you've got more time, do a whole body stretch. Brilliant. And I think the dogs must have enjoyed their run this morning because apart from Spud bringing me a face mask, I haven't heard a peep out of them. <clears throat> That's it, two minutes of recovery left. And let those legs go gradually down. You can sit up, grab a drink, start your rehydration. And if you've got any food, <clears throat> a couple of apricots, some almonds with some protein in, will all start the recovery process. For me, it's lunchtime. I'm going to jump off. I'm going to have pilchards on toast with avocado, tomatoes, beetroot. Beetroot is really good for recovery. <clears throat> In fact, there's a guy from College Cigar, one of the students there who actually created recovery beetroot pouches. I'll see if I can find out which ones they are, because we should always support our own. Lovely Welsh boy, you see, from College Cigar. He's now, I think, a lecturer in the University of Exeter, but leaving College Cigar on the sports science course there, gave him the knowledge in order to, get, to develop this product. So that's pretty awesome, I think. Okay, last 40 seconds. So think about what you're gonna refuel with. Don't go for sugar carbohydrates, sugary products, because they don't help you to recover as well. So fructose, the fruit that you're eating, uh, sweet potato, some good complex carbs will replenish those energy stores. If we're going over the hour, then you might want to think about what else you can use. And there we are. I'd like to thank you all once again for joining me in the Den of Doom. Hope to see you very, very soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.